synthesis of beam. The loops acting on the structural element include the bending moment, torsional moment, shear force, and air shear force. An elastic analysis is generally used to determine the distributions of these forces within the structures. However, to some extent, reinforced concrete is a plastic material. A limited redistribution of elastic moment is sometimes allowed. A plastic U-line theory may be used to calculate the moment in concrete slabs. Let us try an example to analyze a simply supported beam. The beam is carrying the following load. The permanent actions, which include its self-weight, equals to 25 kN per meter. There is a permanent concentrated action of 40 kN at the mix band. And the variable actions, it will be 10 kN per meter. The beam has a span of 4 meter and it is simply supported at both ends. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. To solve these questions, first you need to factor the actions. The point load here is a permanent action. Therefore, for the ultimate limit state, it is to be multiplied with 1.35 factors. As for the UDL, you have 25 kN per meter for the permanent actions, which is to be multiplied with factor 1.35 and 10 kN per meter as the variable actions. It is to be multiplied with 1.5 factors of safety. The total vertical load is to be multiplied with a 4 meter span, you will obtain 195 kN. Next, you draw the shear force diagram. You will need to obtain the reaction force at the supports. And the reaction here, it will be your shear force at the support. Due to the uniform distributed load, the load decreases along the span of the beam. It reaches 27 kN shear force at the mid-span. The vertical load at the mid-span causes it to drop significantly until to negative 27 kN. The gradual drop persists due to the UDL acting on the member until it reach 124.5 kN. As the load setup are symmetrical both sides, that means your shear force diagram will also be symmetrical in both sides. Next, you need to draw the bending moment diagram. The maximum moment here is determined by the area below the shear force diagram. Simply supported beam normally have zero moment at the supports. From the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram, the maximum shear load is identified to be 124.5 and the maximum moment it will be 151.5 kN meter. This number will be adopted in the design of the reinforced concrete element at the later stage of the analysis.